and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're actually making two videos in one. One, we're going to unbox a little gadget that I bought for myself and the other one is obviously we're going to cook something on the barbecue. So let's get to it. Right guys, here we go. Without much further ado, I've already opened the box. Um, and now I'm gonna take it out and this is a toy that I've wanted for the longest while and before you ask no I haven't gotten sponsored I've really purchased that one myself um, this is from a German company called Petromax and Petromax specializes in anything outdoors outdoor cooking Dutch oven cooking <laughs> so let's take off the inside so what you get is one of those handy little manuals and because I'm a man I'll put it to the side then there is a nice big stainless steel grate so we're going to set that to the side and then we're going to take out the star of today's show get rid of this box and there we go guys so this is my Petromax Atago and what does it make it so versatile now what you get as well is you get an inner grate this is for uh, your charcoal, your firewood, whatever you, you want in it. And then in order to open it up, there's a handle right here. So you take it out, you lift it, and there you go guys. Now, there are multiple ways of using this thing. First of all, you can use it as a regular charcoal barbecue. So with the grill grate on, you can take that off. You can use it as a fire pit with anything you want, charcoal, um, uh, firewood or uh, briquettes and obviously with briquettes you can fit a Dutch oven in here now almost every Dutch oven fits um, the best one though is a size 6 and a size 9 they fit perfectly with uh, this rim so they're gonna sit on this rim and also the lid you can use um, you know if you want to cook eggs bacon or whatever you want to do so mega versatile it looks sturdy it feels sturdy um, yeah it's really nice um, what else can I say? Um, the inside is, is really nice too. So, you can have a quick look. Oh, it's heavy. Um, and now, in order for it to fold back, um, you just lift it, the legs fold in, and you're good to go. And then, as before, if you want to take it out, take the handle, lift it, and there you go. Now also, you have a little device here on the side. And that is to regulate the air that comes through because what this does actually is because it has so many holes and the air can be sucked in from so many sides it burns a lot cleaner and with a lot less um, smoke than any other fire pit that you can think of so I'm really excited and I'm going to start cooking now immediately on this so let's go outside and get cooking before we start cooking, we obviously have to take care of the initial burn phase to make sure that none of the remnants from the production are still in there. So we're going to take one of those lighters. We're going to light a regular fire in our Atago. And then we're going to set the grill grid on as well, because obviously we want it nice and hot for what we're cooking next. And you can nicely see how quickly it catches fire, so the chimney effect is really there. As you can see, I've added another piece of uh, wood inside there, and now all the production remnants should have burned off. And what else could we do than use a traditional sausage? to start the life of this barbecue. And as you can see, it cooks rather quickly, so you have to be on top of it. <laughs> Otherwise, your, such a, your sausage will get burned. So as you can see, that went super quickly, and now we're going to use it as a fireplace while we eat our sausages. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little intro video about the uh, Petromax Artago. 
uh, you will be seeing a lot more of it <laughs> that I'm sure as we're heading into the later part of the year where you know obviously dishes in the Dutch oven uh, will be a lot more often so yeah if you did enjoy the video I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come and I hope to see you soon again at Toby's barbecue corner